Did we talk about the Sea of Thieves update, the Mermaid's Curse? Oh, I did not. We should actually talk about this today. So yeah, let me just... They gave us this new update called the Sunken Curse, and it seemed like it was going to be really cool. It's like, finally, we can explore under the water, and there's this curse down there, and you might meet a scary fate, and there are sharks. And basically, what it is, is they've spawned these mermaid statues randomly, kind of on the, on the um, shallows yeah. around islands, and... They don't attack you or anything, but if you stand too close to them, they'll slowly do damage to you. Mm. And I think the idea is with that damage they're doing to you and with you running out of breath, they're supposed to be a little bit more difficult because they regenerate health oh, quickly. Yeah. But here's the thing, is that they sometimes spawn on the island. And, and so you don't have to worry about the breath. And your sword range is actually long enough for you to hit it without you getting in range of it hitting you. Oh, wow. So okay. they're really easy. They take a long time. I think the blue ones go really fast. You just, your whole crew is just sitting there like wailing on them with swords. Like there's no challenge. They spawn randomly. So it's not even like you have to do some kind of puzzle to find them. Yeah. They don't like spawn anything around them. I've never been attacked by a shark once while, while killing one. And it's It's just... You don't, on, honestly. You, and you don't get points for everyone you kill either. You get achievements for like kill 15 blue yeah, statues. That, oh God, like that, that kind of sucks yeah. because there's not really any good way for you to track that progress. And I don't know. It's, kind of, it's boring. Yeah. And I think they'll probably realize that. I think probably a lot of people are also. Well, that's, that's the thing. Like, I like the throne ones that we had. Because, like, you know, it's some sort of a challenge. But even then, like, it, it was a small well, thing to accomplish. The, the throne one was at least... So the throne one was cool because of what you had to do. Like, the whole aiming with the cannon. It was frustrating, but it was really creative. Like, it was something that, you know, I've never had to shoot myself off a cannon into the right position in any other game. So I appreciated the challenge, but they ruined it with having to have two crews oh, to, yeah. do, to do some of the thrones. That really sucked. That, that really is what sucked. ruined it, because, what, poor Will, he was trying to get a throne and he couldn't get it, and we had this other crew, like, waiting on us, yeah. and then eventually they got tired of waiting on us and started killing us, yeah, like... so we killed them, and he never got it. Right, right, yeah. he never ended up getting it, because this crew, um, yeah. got bored, basically. And you, you can see his troubles on our YouTube page, I believe. Yeah, uh, yeah, there's a video of system. it. So that's U2 Spy Zone Retro, if you haven't checked it out. So I, I'll i say what I've always said about Sea of Thieves, which is that they have such a beautiful canvas that they yeah. just need to, they just need to add, like, they keep trying little things and they're not working. They're, they're so close every time. Yeah. Like the, the idea of exploring underwater, I was like, yes. But then when I actually saw it, the actual execution was not great. I agree. I want to like the game so bad and I do like the game a lot. It's just details like i need i need more like please more than just these fetch quests well, like, i want more it's not even just that it's that they they propose these really amazing ideas yeah. and then there's some aspect of of the quest that makes it shitty <laughs> oh yeah it just i'm hoping the, the the two new like big updates that are coming in september and august i'm hoping those two are really really good and we, we have the game and right we we bought it everybody. yeah yeah and we, we uh we get the free dlc and stuff like that but so i'm hoping just two larger ones make it so that we come back we keep coming back to it you know? right and i'm thinking because like we all know this game is really really based around cosmetics yeah. and like basically make it all, worth it. Make i cool. mean basically all all you're doing is getting money so you can buy a cool dress or cool or pants. level up yeah right yeah and like a lot of there are some really really nice beautiful cosmetics that are really cool but they're in my opinion, there are maybe like three sets that are, really that are nice. cool. Yeah, another one. Like that. Three sets out of yeah. like a lot of sets. Yeah. Yeah, and like that's, that's you, cool. if your game is about cosmetics, you need to give us need better to, cosmetics. You need to step it up. Even the, <laughs> even the build rat stuff kind of looks bad. Like, well, right, like right. Anyway. See, you've got like. I think it's the Imperial Sovereign stuff that we yeah. both really like. That it's really it's cool. like purple and it's got like the studs, purple like the gold. gems yeah. on it and stuff. Yeah. It's really pretty. And then you've got the bilge rat stuff that's like a shitty torn shirt. Like <laughs> literally, literally, literally yeah. yes. <laughs> they're like, well, they're pirates. 
you look nasty, but yeah. I mean, make it look well, cool at least. Yeah, you can make something look like nasty and piratey, yeah, like, but like also Jack Sparrow looks nasty. Yeah, but like, also cool make it like time. but also make it look snatched as hell. Like I'm a pirate, boy. I don't want to yeah. spend ten thousand dollars on a torn shirt that's yeah. like white. Like if I'm gonna collect booty, I wanna wear some of that booty. Right, you know I mean? right. I wanna be, be decked cool out.